So we've done some great work so far looking at shapes and thinking about their properties and the odd one out yesterday looking at comparisons, similarities and differences. So we're going to start by continuing that thinking of odd one out and um, then we're going to move on to one of my very favourite tasks uh, around shape which is called guess the rule where you have to go really deep into what's the same and what's different between different shapes and um, to work out not just what shapes are but what the rules are that group shapes. So we'll get to that. First of all, some more odd one out. Well, there's only one place we can possibly start today, and that is with Freddy and his odd one out example. So have a look at these shapes, uh, pause the video. Which one is the odd one out and why? Can you think of a reason why each one might be the odd one out? Pause the video and have a think. And again, thank you, Freddie, for your example. Um, well, let me tell you what I came out with, Freddie. Um, and uh, I decided that the star could be the odd one out because it's got eight sides and the other ones are hexagons. Um, I decided that the middle hexagon could be the odd one out because it's got um, a right angle. Um, and I decided actually that the right hand side hexagon, that could be the odd one out because all of its angles are um, obtuse angles. Um, whereas the star has got reflex angles uh, and acute angles and uh, the shape in the middle again has got a, a mix of different types of angles. Uh, love that one, Freddie. Thank you. Let's move on to another one. Um, and this is from Leon. Um, so again, let's have a look at these three shapes. Pause the video. Which one's the odd one out and why? Okay, well, let's have a look. And again, Leon, I, I, I'm going to tell you what I went for. Um, I went for the arrowhead because it's got two pairs of adjacent sides at the same length, this pair and that pair, which the other shapes don't have. Um, the Pac-Man shape here in the middle, I'm going for, it's got curved sides. Um, and I actually went for the, um, for the pentagon, I went for, it's got a right angle. And again, I know there are different possible answers. I wonder what you had in mind. Thank you for these examples. And we'll have a look at the other examples that get sent through uh, later on in the week. Well, in all the videos so far, we've been looking at shapes and talking about shapes and their properties and doing that in different ways. Today, we're building up to a task that's called Guess the Rule. And of all of the games I play with shapes, I think this is my very, very favorite game, but it's a very complex one as well. So I'm gonna show you how it's played, but first of all, we're just kind of gonna build up the skills that you'll need. Um, so let's have a look at these two shapes, a trapezium and a kite. If I was talking about the properties of these shapes, I might mention about the angles, whether they're acute angles, obtuse angles, or right angles. So say in the trapezium, you can say there's two right angles here, those angles are 90 degrees. Uh, one obtuse angle, because it's more than 90 degrees and less than 180, and one acute angle. Uh, the kite here has got three obtuse angles, and there's one acute angle. Um, I could talk about the parallel, whether there are any pairs of parallel lines. So the trapezium has one pair of parallel lines. But the kite, none of the lines are parallel to one another. I could talk about sides in terms of whether they're opposite and adjacent. So let's say with the trapezium, it's the opposite sides that are parallel here. Whereas the kite, the opposite sides are not parallel. The word adjacent is the side that's next to another one. So with the kite, the adjacent sides here, this pair, are the same length. And the adjacent sides here are the same length. If I look at the trapezium, the adjacent sides are different lengths. Now, we'll use some of these skills in comparing these shapes. And we're going to kind of go deep in understanding and talking about these different types of shapes. Uh, the game we're going to play is one shape has, two shapes have, and we'll keep going. So I want you to look at these shapes and think, can you think of a statement which says one shape has, and something that applies to only one shape, and then two shapes have? What have two of those shapes got in common? Three shapes have, four, five, six. I wonder how many statements you can come up with where you're grouping those shapes in terms of their, their, uh, their properties. Pause the video and see how many different solutions you can find. Okay, now, now I'm going to give you an example of, um, of some of the responses you could give. Um, if I say one shape has, I could say the rhombus is the one shape that has all sides equal length. Um, for two shapes have, it could be that two shapes have 
um, at least one right angle, the, the rectangle and the trapezium. Three shapes have? Well, three shapes have at least one line of symmetry. The trapezium B, the rectangle, and the kite. So there's the one for the kite, the two for the rectangle, and the trapezium B, the one, the line of symmetry down the middle. Um, for sh four shapes, I went for, it has shapes that have opposite angles that are equal, at least one pair of opposite angles that are equal. The rectangle does, those opposite angles there are equal. The parallelogram, that's two. The rhombus, that's three. And actually the kite does here as well. So that's four. Um, for um, five, I've gone for shapes that have at least one pair of parallel lines. The only one that doesn't uh, for, is, the, uh, is the kite. And last, for six shapes have, well, six shapes are quadrilaterals. Of course, there are different ways that that can be answered also. So I'm going to show you one game that can be played in sorting these shapes, and it's called Guess the Shape. So I would uh, have a shape in my mind, I've, I've chosen one in my mind, and the other player has to ask questions to see if they can figure out which shape I've got in my mind. Yes and no questions. So for example, they might say, does your shape have um, any lines of symmetry? And I'd say yes. Um, has it got any pairs of parallel lines? I'd say yes. They might say, does it have any right angles? I'd say no. Then they might say, oh, I know which one it is. It's trapezium B. Um, so we're going to have a go at that game now. Um, and so let's say we, we play like this and you say, are the opposite angles equal? Now for the shape I've just chosen, I'd say yes. Um, then your question, does it have any lines of symmetry? And I'd say no. Last question, are the adjacent sides on this shape equal length? I'd say Yes. Mm, pause the video. Which shape am I talking about? Well, the shape I was actually talking about was the rhombus. Mm, I wonder if anyone, anyone got that. That's a game that you could play in a moment. But now I'm going to show you what is, I have to say, my very favourite game. Uh, it's, it's different and it is, needs a little bit more deep thinking. And it's called Guess the Rule. So for this version of the game, rather than having a shape in my mind, I'm having a rule in my mind. Now I'm going to show you one round of this game and how it could work. So let's say the rule I have in my mind is, the rule is, the shapes have, that the, the rule I'm thinking about is two acute angles. So I'll say yes if the question, um, for, for any shapes that have two acute angles, and I'll say no if they don't have two acute angles. So the other player might say, does, um, does the rhombus fit your rule? And I would say, yes. And then they might ask, does trapezium B fit your rule? And I'd say, yes, it does, because it has two acute angles. And then they might say, okay, well, what about the rectangle? Does that fit your rule? And I'd say, no, it doesn't. And they might go, hmm, that's a tough one. Okay, what about trapezium A? And I'd say, no, it doesn't. That doesn't fit the rule. And then they might be able to guess, is your rule that has two acute angles? I'd say, yeah, well done. It is. It is. Okay. So let's actually have a proper go at this game. Okay. Um, so imagine you say, um, okay, I've, I've thought of a rule. It's a different rule than that one. And you go, well, what about the rectangle? I'd say, yes. Um, parallelogram? No. The kite? Yes. That fits the rule. Uh, what about trapezium A? No, it doesn't. And you have to think, oh, you might be guessing now what the rule might be. So you think, well, which shape will really test that and, and see if it's clear? Okay, I'm going to try trapezium B. I'd say yes. Now, pause the video. Can you guess what my rule is? Okay, now my rule was at least one line of symmetry. Hmm. I wonder if you managed to guess my rule. It's a complex game, isn't it? So from wherever you're viewing the video, if you click the blue link underneath the video, it will bring up this page, which is like your activity for today. Now you'll see here, this is a copy of the, or multiple copies of the same shapes we've just been looking at on the video. It could be that you want to play guess the shape or guess the rule. And of course you can zoom in and see those shapes clearly here. 
Or equally, this page can be printed because it can be useful when you're playing guess the shape and guess the rule to actually have the shapes there so you can tick or cross off the shapes or make a record of what's been asked already. Um, I hope that's really useful. I hope you play the game that you find really thought provoking. You might want to play a version of the game where you make up your own set of shapes as well. Um, I would love to hear anything about what you've done, um, how it's helped your thinking. Um, so enjoy that. Good luck with it. As ever, I'll be back tomorrow.